how how so far. And it's so funny that with a population of 200 million Nigerians, we can only supply electricity to you know not more than 50 percent approximately. Now in Providing a start to this problem, what the average Nigerian knows is that he's not getting power supply. However, the technocrats will tell you that there's actually power supply. The issue is electricity waste. Nigeria produces about 80,000 megawatts of electricity with only about 50% of you know, this electricity being produced, running from the generation companies to the transmission companies to the distribution companies to the final consumer, and that's the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be providing a solution to this issue, um, and I'm calling on my colleague to take us. Hello, everybody. So, um, our biggest challenge is not the fact that we cannot generate electricity because what we generate the electricity to and when we use it is very far. Anybody that knows about electricity, when you transmit electricity over long distances, we use electricity. And I mean, apart from our poor distribution network and everything that happens. So our solution is very simple. Right now, Lagos State is taking key initiatives to deploy what we call smart meters. So they are IoT enabled and they allow you to connect these meters and culture and they allow them to monitor them remotely. So what are we proposing? We are proposing that we can come into the value chain. When you have a solar panel in your home, you probably value 1.5 kV, right? So that you can generate, charge your fridge, charge your, charge your TV and every single thing, right? But at the end of the day, sometimes you don't use everything. Like, for example, I'm not a home right now, so yes, in my room is off. That means the power that I would have taken for my room is no longer being utilized. So that means that the power I'm using is wasting, is going back into the grid. Uh, my parents are not making any money from it, but they have a system. Our solution is very simple. We want to connect all meters, all smart meters together. And then what we want to do is that we want to make, allow, the, allow the government to monitor the electricity that is coming from everybody's home back into the grid so that you make money and then they can continue to generate enough electricity for everybody. What about like, a big industry like that would be? They generate far more than they can use. And what it is that they can sell to companies around. Right, and that way they can feed back into the grid. So asking his own self as an independent power producer and then continue to power, helping our power sector. So we have more access to energy. Okay, so this is what we call me. We don't, we don't want to touch this area because that falls in the very area. Between the distribution and the end user, we can't bring in our solution so that people can be able to, I mean, utilize energy more effectively. Okay, so how do you plan to do this? We will develop a software application. This is very simple. The technology already exists. What we are doing is that we are connecting them together and then we are putting a platform that everybody can see. We will find out with OEMs, people who produce this, um, this software, this software, this and meet us so that they can give us technical support on that. We will not go to the discos for strategic partnership. I know that this is a very big problem that discos are facing already. How to monitor power usage and how to transfer excess and waste power back into the grid. And then we deploy an application for everyone's use. We put sort of a sample of what we think that this should look like. You can monitor how much is generated, how much you consume, you can buy power, and then you have to check the health of your meter so that you know when things are going bad and when things are good. Um, this is basically a description of how much we think we're going to spend. This is CK is, I mean, a rough estimate of how much we spend already should the business tax. At least 316, how much we make. Because we plan to have, um, commercialize our business in two ways. You can speak this. In two ways. We plan to charge subscription fees. So for everybody that has it, that puts something that this goes to regulate, they have to pay 500 now to use the app. And then for every one kilowatt that you generate back into the system, we take 5% of that. So, I mean, we already have the existing structure in place. And then, very luckily, the Senate passed a bill to allow the implementation of these things already. And we have the meter, we have the smart card, and then we have solar panels already. So, yeah, thank you.